This is JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to install an LSI 9361-8i RAID controller into a Dell T7910 workstation. Um, so if you've seen some of our other videos, we do, uh, we've done the LSI 3008 integrated controller on the T7910. We've also done the 9341-8i controller. Um, this controller is very similar um, to those controllers in that they both, or all three of them, support 12 gig per second SAS drives and six gig per second SATA drives. Um, this one does support RAID 0, 1, 5, 6, and 10. We don't have six on there, but it does support six if you have four drives. Uh, the big difference is this card has the one gig cache uh, and the battery backup, which uh, allows for faster throughput compared to those other cards. Um, so this is this is the, uh, the fastest card available if you do plan to run um, SAS or SATA uh, RAID drives or or just just a bunch of disks. So this is our actual LSI 9361-8i controller that we are going to install. Um, as you can see, it's a PCI Express card. It's got two SAS ports on it. Um, it's got a battery backup. Here's the back of the card. You can see what we're working with, the 9361-8i. And here is a close-up of the part number. Okay, and then here's our battery backup. We're gonna show you exactly where this battery mounts. And we have the part number right here, just in case you need to locate one of these as a replacement. Okay, so let's um, let's open up this T7910 and, and take a look inside the chassis. Okay, so we have two slots available because we do have a big bad video card in here. And we're gonna elect to go on that top slide. So first we're gonna pull out that PCI bracket. Next, let's take a look at where the LSI, where we're gonna plug it into. So the T7910 is nice because it's got a cable built into it uh, that we will just reallocate from the onboard SAS controller to this new card. Okay, so this is the SAS cable that we're going to use. And first, we're going to go ahead and mount our battery. It mounts right in the bottom of the chassis, right where you see, and it goes in like this. It clips in really, really easily. So our battery is locked in. And now we just need to slide our card into place. Okay, so line the card up with the PCI slot and the PCI where the bracket and that screw is right here. Push the card in. And it will go right into place and then clip your blue retention clip to lock it into place. Last step is we just need to plug in that SAS cable. So when you, when you go to install um, or create your RAID configuration, one thing that you'll want to do is disable the embedded LSI 3008 because otherwise it'll attempt to boot to both and it'll slow down your boot speeds. So we've got that plugged into this port zero. And if you need help configuring the RAID, uh, we've done another pretty elaborate video on how to create a RAID configuration with the LSI 9361 8i controller. So check out that video. That will help you out big time if you don't know how to create the RAID. And if you want to see additional content, uh, check out our YouTube page. Um, you can also go to our website, greenpcgamers.com, for other free content. Um, if, if this video helped you out at all, please subscribe to the page. It helps us out big time. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram for, uh, for giveaways. We do give away some of our excess gear that we use in these how-to videos. Um, also, if you want to join a gaming community and... Um, or you want to ask live hardware questions, uh, you can follow uh, myself, JBigTicket23, on Twitch. Um, we do have an awesome little Discord channel. Uh, we do answer hardware questions there as well as a ton of gaming. Um, so thank you so much for watching.